It's Ian Clayton here. In this video, I want to show you why you need to be very worried about the latest changes in the Google search listing of hotels and tourism. We're going to show you what exactly has happened and talk about what you need to do to position your brand relative to these changes. So let's do a search for romantic hotels. A few years ago, we would have got a lot of individual hotels possibly coming up, um, but not now. If you look at the results, they're all major brands, uh, most of them are actually on this page um, directories. So these are directories of, of hotels. So can we find uh, small hotels? If I do small romantic hotels, maybe. Again, brands, 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 Expedia, no small hotel. You know, this is critical to search engine optimization for small hotels because if you're a small hotel, uh, say in Barbados, and you wanted to be coming up in the in the search results for small romantic hotels in Barbados, Barbados small romantic hotels, let's say, would you? Well, who's here? That's a that's a major brand. This is our site in Barbados, the Barbados Tourism Encyclopedia. Uh, Elegant Hotels is a brand. Expedia. Um, TripAdvisor, TripAdvisor, British Airways, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is a, is, a, is a pretty big brand. So that's not a small hotel. So there are no small hotels coming up in the first page. In the first page, what about the second page? Are there any hotels, small hotels in Barbados coming up? Any local hotels? There was a time where Google was really emphasizing local search. That's local hotels in, a, in the actual destination. Not anymore. Most of these are directories. So what if we do just Barbados hotels? Now we're getting Crystal Cove, TripAdvisor, Barbados.org, Hilton, Sandy Lane, Bookings.com, Expedia, British Airways. All right, it's not looking very good for the small hotels. The major brands are here, some of the major brands, not all of them, but some of the major brands are in the listing. But I want to get local, Barbados are local hotels. How am I going to find them? Well, we're here, that's Barbados, that's our site, that's our site. We're in the first three positions. Marriott Hotels, okay, it's a pretty big brand. So where are all the hotels like Dover Beach? There's Treasure Beach, that's a good one. But there's a whole lot of hotels that are just not showing up here. All right, you're not seeing much in the way of individual hotels coming on the first page of Google. And now, I've done that in St. Lucia. I've gone to look for St. Lucia uh, apartment rental, say. Now, what we have here is Vibro. It's an international brand. Owners Direct, an international brand. Home Away, international brand. Flip Key, hotel, holiday lettings, vacation rentals, Caribbean rentals, Owners Direct. And on the second page, TripAdvisor, one small hotel. And this is one that we've been promoting and doing an awful lot of work to get it on the first page. And it's just not there. So SEO for your on page for a small hotel is hardly worth the effort. If Google is going to turn around and say, we're not going to list you. To be fair, we've got this particular hotel onto the second page. And some things work here, for example, is our first page listing for the generic term of St. Lucia Apartments, where we've listed in Google Places. Now, that's part of a strategy that has a spillover effect, and we're going to be using that to get more authority and uh, visibility. But it is going to be a long-term process. And SEO, on-site SEO alone, is not going to make it go into the first page. We're going to have to do pilot videos, do content marketing, build their backlinks, that's build links from relevant sites back to their, to, their, to their hotel. But all of that would be in vain if we don't get the SEO right. So let us study what needs to be done on SEO. And let's take a look at what are the best people here doing in terms of their SEO. So let's go back to the keyword Barbados Romantic Hotel. The very first site that comes up is Barbados.org, Barbados Tourism Encyclopedia. It's got the romance page coming up. You can see this has got a lot of information first off. Now, if we go and look at the uh, source code, page source, the first thing to look at is the title. 
And that's the first thing that Google sees. Caribbean honeymoon, car romantic vacations, getaways. Back. Okay, those words are carefully chosen, and we did research of the, of the primary keywords. And notice that the keywords are divided in the title by the straight line rather than commas or whatever. And that is the right way to do it. The next thing is the um, description. That again is got the keywords that we're looking, getaways, vacations, honeymoons. It's all in there and it's not overdone. And then importantly, the keyword has very few items in it, just Caribbean, honeymoons, romantic vacation, getaways, packages. The next thing I would do is do a search for the occurrence of the words that we're looking for in the file. So we find uh, romance. Okay, and you see right away that it's in it's in the links. So we've got a romantic vacations here back in the links, links uh, title, which is an H2, H2, which is the second level title, H1 is the first. We don't tend to use H1s inside of the page. I think it's a bit heavy. It doesn't look very nice. And uh, I don't think it gives us any real benefit in terms of the SEO. For Google is looking at headings. That's a very important indicator of what this page is about. Okay, so romance is there uh, a good bit, but not, as you see, too much. What other words are in there? Is honeymoon is in there. Yeah. And again, not too many. What about um, getaways? Yeah. So couples is in there. Yeah. All right, so the important thing here is that Google is looking for a relatively finite number of key, of one keyword there. If you put too many keywords in there, it'll consider that, that that's stacking and then you'll get penalized for that. But it's also looking for what they call semantic words, words that are similar. And that indicates a depth of the, of the kind of information that's in the page. So if you're using a lot of semantic words, such as marriage, champagne, those are words that are connotate the idea of romance, restaurants, elegant gourmet restaurants, candlelight, all of those sorts of words are indicating that this has really got a depth of information about the subject and that'll get highly rated in terms of the Google um, algorithms. The images that we put into the page also are important and they will have the word romantic as you can see here. All the images are encoded in the source of the page uh, with the appropriate keyword and semantic words. And they also have an alt tag. That's uh, the um, brief description that people will see when they put a mouse over the image. And that also has the keyword or semantic words. Again, it's a combination of, of the keyword and the semantic words that have to be in the right proportion so you don't overdo a particular keyword and be cast as over-optimizing your page. It's also very important what you call the menus to the page, the links to the page, and the name of the page. So don't call it index. It's uh, not going to help you in, in any way. Try and use the keywords or a phrase for the name of the page itself that's going to be the target of your keyword um, campaign. And of course, the content of the page is very important. So if you've got a booking widget, it too has, uh, has relative keywords. Uh, put um, options, videos, and things of that nature on your page that will engage people and cause them to spend some time on it. And um, the the actual text of the page should be engaging, original content. Make it uh, written in a style that will cause people to want to read it, not just fact, but uh, a storyline. The last paragraph should begin to reflect the theme of your page and repeat the keyword just once in that last sentence. And that will reinforce the the sense that this page is, uh, is about this content. And uh, finally, always have uh, a standard citation, what's a telephone number, name, address, copyright, statement of privacy, and terms that is the same on all of your documents. And that will give you credit towards local listings. Now, we are going to be doing more on this SEO on page um, optimization, uh, specifically with regard to the issue of uh, the big brands and how you can work towards gaining that territory back again. That'll be in a future video. So keep watching. This video is one of many free videos on uh, hotel and tourism marketing, which you can find at tourismmarketingmachines.com, tourismmarketingmachines, all one word, dot com. I'm Ian R. Clayton author and publisher of Travelers Insights magazine and the book How to Build Your Business Online. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to helping you in the future and hearing your comments. Thanks again and bye for now.